Hey YouTube, this is number two, volume two of best way to make a cup of outdoors. Now, as you've seen in my last video, previous to the end, that I did start to put the water into the cup uh, and put the water into the bowl, saucepan, whatever you want to call it, and here we have it. It's actually looking pretty cool, it's boiling nice. It's really boiling nice, but uh, I've made a stupid mistake here. I have my SMK, this is a lot of Alan's gun that he lent me, so let's have a good look at this. I have put my own scope on there, due to the fact that it's longer and it's bigger, it's a bit messy, it's dusty, but that's just because it's been in the, been in the bag for so long. So, here you go, a quick look for you right now. There you go guys. It's a nice gun. But stupid fucking me, sorry for my language, stupid me. Uh, got everything ready, uh, loaded the gun up with one pellet, and yeah, the pellets came out of my bag in the house, and I've only got one pellet on me. So, next time, probably, guys, you're gonna have to just bear with me for a bit of a shooty shoot. So, oh, yeah, it's looking good now. Yeah, we're cooking, okay. Oh, Nice water, man. It's cooking good, cooking good. Good, it's good, it's good. Hey. Oh, fucking helicopter's out, guys. It's the Germans. They're coming. Oh, man, what the hell? Oh, bear with me, guys. Find something to put you on. I'm kind of scattered this stupid selfie stick thingy my bob didn't work. But, yeah. Best way to make a cup of outdoors, volume number two, this is what I call this. So, it's a cup of tea, you know, it's it's not a cup of, well, I'm not really making a cup of tea. I think I'm gonna, let's have a look what we got here. I think it goes obviously time and uh, time and stuff like this. I'm just gonna make a standard, basic uh, hot chocolate. I'm gonna go watch out guys, I'm gonna fall asleep otherwise. Uh, yeah, I think I have. I could make, no, no, okay. Uh, Tell you what, I'll do it. Ooh, I could do this for some wine. Got a nice cup there. Cover. Stick that in there. And. Look, that's what we've got here. Look, it's got a really nice setup, huh? But always carry portable knives and forks. Simple. These are Poundland as well. I don't know, are they Tesco's? Probably from Tesco's. I actually fancy to get the get out of here. And uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get there someday. This is a bit of a complication. So okay. I think that might be done, to be honest. So, let's turn that gas down just a bit. And, here we go. Yeah, boy. Nice cup of brew. Nothing beats a nice cup of tea on the mountainside. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. It's been a really brilliant. Now, I am going to take my rubbish with me, guys. Tea bag wise. So don't panic. I'm not one of these guys to go. It's gone. But survival tips is if you ever don't want to be traced. We don't ever want to be found. Don't leave a uh, breadcrumb trail. I believe it's called. Ooh, look at that. Fantastic. Fan fantastic. Fan do be fantastic. Okay, so, oh, better watch out. Oh, Christ. It's going to burn my cap. Oh, God. Look at that. Ah, let's have a look at guys. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. Uh, there you go. Nice. 
Here's my cab, cab at sea. <sighs> Lovely. So, here we go, guys. Next on the agenda, I'm gonna cook the bacon. Let me fucking fly up. But obviously, one, I was gonna do a shooting video, but obviously, one, uh, one pallet. It's not good. So, it's okay. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, guys, please subscribe to anything, and I'll teach you the best as I can. Now, this would be brilliant camp inside, because maybe, yeah, I'm probably gonna do something here. They don't down the line. It's a nice little flat ground. That's what you need most. Loads of Alan, he'll tell you the same. They are natural based places to camp flat areas, hidden by trees, hidden surrounded by trees. Like this is a lovely spot. Bit of a pine cone situation around. But yet again, nothing you can't solve. Clear the area out. Kick all the shit out. Nice fine flat space. Put a tent up. I don't know if been a fly on my arm. And you'd be fine. No, it's lovely because you have a fire set up here. No guy's reasonable. Make a fire pit so it does not spread. And obviously you make a fire pit, you can come back. You can reuse it. And this one was your site. This is your lovely spot. Like this is the view is uh fantastic. You know, can you imagine having a sunset view? Because the sun will always set that way. Over those mountains, guys, that is where the sun will set. Here in South Wales, where I am located, which we'll keep by the secret. So, happy days. Not bad if I say so myself. Not a bit of a tea person, but I thought, you know what? Gotta do it. Gotta do, do it. But, yeah, guys, this is basically away this is what i love it's so all you need is the right equipment guys and you fucking way you go the way you go man the way you go so yes always cut it back but two seconds let's get this sorted right yeah okay uh we we'll put that coffee there Let's get this stove safe as so fucking possible because I'm going to have to open the stove legs a bit so it will be able to fit the saucepan on pretty snug so we'll be cooking the entire thing not just part of the bacon there you go perfect or could actually just open this bit a bit further. There you go, guys. Now that's what I'm talking about. So if we stick that on there, I hope it's gonna stay. Try to find a way. Well, it's not gonna work. I just have to find um way is this gonna have to work then guys? But bear with me guys because this is the first time I've ever properly just done this outside with this particular stove. You know, camping with the guys I work with normally have a proper camping stove but obviously I'm doing a survival video so you can't see me plugging around a massive, massive camping stove, because, oh, let's face the facts guys, where the hell am I going to stick it? Huh? Where am I going to put it? Uh, I'm going to be a problem, because it keeps sliding. Uh. Obviously, because it's metal, it's not like a saucepan, it's a snug. Not unless I do that. There we go, guys, we might have actually have it here. So, let's get this fucking thing blazing again. There we go. It doesn't help that leg is actually done. Shit. 
Okay, let's try this. Use the right. Let's try this, guys, because there's only one way this is gonna work. It's gonna go bad, or it's gonna go good. And I'm hoping in between. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, black, black bird is coming to get me. I'm screwed. I'm gonna die in the wilderness. The birds are never a good sign. Right, guys, let's find a way to stick you there for two minutes. Okay, let's do this. Let's try to do this. There's only one way. This is gonna work. Let's see if we try cooking. The bit. It's not falling out of pot on me. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Let's get this bit on it. Ooh. Let's have a good try at that one, guys, yeah? Survival tip 101, big bacon. Oof. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. In the wilderness, cup of tea, bit of bacon, guys. That's all you need. Now we're cooking. And the best thing we're going to do is not die of salmonella and food poisoning. So, any vegetarians out there, do about it. But they got to survive somehow. So, how to make the best way to make a cup of tea outdoors. And a bit of bacon, guys. This is what my video will be called. So, hope you enjoy. Best way, always best way. Carby supplies that you're gonna need, even if it's a day. Now, when I go camping, this is what I bring. Some foods that you can basically use. Tin of beans. Use the tin of beans. Use a tin of beans, put a bag on, guys. You know, even if you should just go a bite, but no, just remember, you can't be the fuck up bacon. I don't know, wait. So, best way, always carry stuff that you know you can survive with. Tins of beans, tins of tuna. Nowadays, tins of tuna with a cracked beans, cracked. Always good way. Always brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Use the way of taking stuff that you know, you, you could use just to save your life, even if it's just a company. Now me and Lord of Alba are going to go uh, and explore. We're going to go together because this is my bit of videos and his videos will be different. Where we're going to join together and become the lords. And we can't be lords with just one. Oh, no, no, no. So, we're going to try and we're going to explore all what we can in the, in the valleys and show people like you what we can do. Got mountain bikes. Yeah, we can to show you a bit of that. Got a moment. Survival tips 101 when you live in the valleys. Always carry things that you are going to need. Always. Plenty of water, food, rations, something simple. Something you can set up in the middle. The only way that people are going to survive in the wilderness is when they use their head.
good. Yeah, he's looking good. Bit windy. It's starting to get a bit windy. I have no days, and maybe you up. But obviously, we have not got much daytime light left, so we're gonna cook this up, heat it, drink it, pack a cup up, and move on. Hopefully, we will do daytime shooting, and we will do different things. There's different things down there, guys. There's rivers. There's plenty of places to camp down the rivers. Uh, there's plenty of ways. What, I, what we can do for you is build shacks, anything like that, just to keep your head above water, as they say. So, it's looking pretty good. Good, good. And always, always remember, use your head. Use your head when it comes to survival, guys. Maybe one day I'll save your life. Get away from my car. Get away from my team, fly. Get away. I'll complete every man. Bacon. It's looking good, looking good. Look at that. Make it. Then put that, that one in there. Cool down for five fucking minutes. Get a bit more on the eye of it. Some people will say the fat's the best part. Well, it's not for fucking me. <laughs> Very like it. Okay. Let's start cooking a bit. Let's play with something like that. Nice. Simple guys. It's just simple like that. Tiny spots that you buy, you know, your noodles from. See them. Comes in handy. Store bacon, sausages, anything. It helps your storage in your pack, in your day sack, in your rucksack, any kind of thing. It help a lot. It will. It help you a lot with storage. It will take more, survive for a bit longer. So unless you're willing to go and kill a deer, which in our parts of this place is illegal. Can't kill a deer on you guys. Robin of Sherwood, you know. You can't kill a deer, it's the king's deer. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. So, it helps. Storage. Tip number two. Or three. Water is number one. Food that you can live on and easy to cook. Tip number two. That storage for your day sack was number three. 
and obviously tip number four would be technology wise. If you're going to take technology like I have, make sure you have a charger or a way to keep that technology alive as best as you can. Simple. Use your head, guys. That's all you got to do. Now, you can go anywhere shop wise, Tesco, Poundland, you can buy survival stuff. From knives and forks, to gas cans, to little stove. Anywhere. And then, if you start what you like to do, if you like to go out and explore yourself, or something's wrong, so I do apologize. Explore the world, and the valleys, or the mountain sides. Comes around deep. No, it's lovely, man. It's brilliant. You can survive, you can enjoy yourself. You, know, you can sit there. I'm sitting here now, eat a bacon on top of a mountain with a crack in me. It's lovely, man. It's brilliant. It's the ways. The oven. Ways of Avon, it's the ways of the valleys, it's the way the country sings. You know? Hills of the Hills of the Live with the sound of music. <laughs> well, that's the that's your in live with the sound of bacon sizzling on the fire. That's all it is. You know? Nighttime survival will be a different story, which I am hoping to link up with our uh, Lords of Avon on YouTube and I'm ha uh, happening to do a couple of night survivals tips about camping one night um, maybe mountain wise river wise rivers is definitely what I would love to do chat with the Lord of Martin about river gorging he's got a waterproof camp so I right. put him to the test and hope for the best basically but yeah Nice. Show you guys then what would be the best ways of looking into the Avon Valley. Lovely place. Obviously, there's camping resorts, there's bike resorts, B and B resorts. No matter where you go in the valleys of South Wales, you will always find somewhere to stay. Even if it's from camping, to stay in. in a nice warm bed. You would always find, well always. But we will show you the other sides of the camping and survival tips. And hopefully maybe help people maybe will be stuck across one day. Yes. Your bike. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. So, guys, like I said, please subscribe. Please. I know you just watched me for the last 24 minutes, 25 minutes, actually cooking and talking. Shit. But, that's what I do. Survival tips. If any of you got survival tips to give me, then give me. Then like my button. Press my button. Hey, hey. Press my like button. Subscribe to my channel. And just help. Help me. Give me tips. Give me anything that I can miss out. And I guarantee that. Uh, and I'll mention it next time. That'll be coming across. There you go. So. That's done. I'm gonna have to put this to the side. Oh. Let that cool down. Let the pan cool down. And uh yeah. We'll just go from there. So my fingers in the way, I do apologize. So 
again. Survival tips are always helpful when you're in the middle of a mountainside and you just want to be alone and explore because who will not love to camp up here? Who will not love just sit here in the day, have a bit of grub, a nice cup of tea, and take it in. Please like my like my like my videos, subscribe, and keep in tune for more Jam Stars survival tips of the Am Fucking Valley.